In this video, we'll show you how to tally surveys start to finish. There are three survey forms to choose from. Each has five responses per question. You can view both sides of these forms at www.scantronscore.com in the Online Interactive Users Guide. Look for the Forms List topic. For this example, we'll use Form 20-S-WS. It allows you to print the survey questions right on the form, as you can see here. Have your respondents fill these forms out and return them to complete this step. Marking the key is easy. Fill in bubble 5 to indicate that it's the key, and fill in bubble 3 to print a serial number on each survey. If you want, you can fill in the percentage bubble to view your results in percentages. But for this example, we'll just mark bubbles 3 and 5. Once you have the key and the surveys completed, press Start to begin tallying. Then feed the key. If your key is two-sided, feed side 1, followed by side 2. Then feed the surveys one at a time. If your survey is two-sided, feed side 1, followed by side 2, for each survey. When you've fed all the surveys, or if you get close to the limit of 9,999 surveys fed, it's time to tally the results. Feed the Form 9870 Tally Sheet. It has four sides that can be fed. You can use any of the following indicators to determine which sides to feed. The pass number, shown here. The numbers, shown here. Or the numbers shown here. Feed one side, followed by the next side, and so on, until you have data for every question and response. By the way, feeding the tally sheet doesn't end your session. You can feed more surveys if you want to. Just be sure to run a tally at the end to capture the final results. Let's take a closer look at the survey results tally sheet. Notice that it shows the number of surveys counted and it also shows the number of respondents choosing each response. That's all there is to it! Did you know that Scantron Score processes tests and surveys exactly the same way? It's just the forms that are a little bit different. I guess we'll have to just trust you to keep that little secret to yourself. We'll see you next time!